Hi Libra, welcome in. Libra, be sure to only take the messages that resonate and how they resonate for your situation. Energies can be reversed. I'm going to take a look at your next seven days. I'll start by pulling some general messages and then I'll take a look at your love life. If the reading resonates or if you would like to support the channel, don't forget to hit that like button and feel free to leave a comment down below. Okay, Mountain Road, it says you are on the road to success. And Libra, the road to success is a windy one. Be facing some challenges, okay? It says Arrow, you are on the right path regarding some aspect of your life. Okay, so I feel like, you know, you're, you're climbing that mountain, Libra. You're headed in the right direction, but when you're climbing towards success, there is going to be obstacles to get thrown your way. So I feel like a lot of you guys could be halfway to your destination. And this is a check-in point. And it's basically your check-in point to be like, hey, Libra, you good? You good? Okay, even if you're not good, just dust yourself off, get back up, and keep climbing this mountain. Because you are on the right path. It says you're on the right path regarding some aspects of your life. We have moon changes in your life. Star guaranteed success. Clouds temporary problems. You could be making changes in your life, okay? But I really just feel like, like I said, this is a check-in point. This is basically like you're halfway there. Check in, check in with yourself, check in with, you know, reevaluate where you're at, where you're going, okay? Um, but definitely don't give up because you're on the right path. You're on the road to success here, okay? And there may have to be some changes you make along the way, uh, changes in your life. Uh, these could be major or minor changes. And when we're on the road to success, there are certain sacrifices we have to make, okay? Especially when we're climbing this big <laughs> mountain. And so I feel like you guys are going to be successful, but you have got to keep pushing forward. Temporary problems. It could be a little cloudy right now or headed into the week. There might be a little, it, there might be some smoke and mirrors, some clouds, but it's only temporary. Remind yourself it's only temporary. You are on the right path. What else for Libra? Tower. It says solid foundation, success with effort. So you're going to be successful with whatever this is. It's guaranteed success. A lot of you Librans, you've already created some type of solid foundation. Or you can be assured that this is what you're doing. So if it's cloudy now, just know that you're you're creating a solid foundation. You're setting yourself up for success. Yes, it's challenging. Yes, it's a windy road. Yes, there are mistakes that are made along the road, but you learn more from making a mistake than doing things right. I mean, just let that let that sink in. So there could be some learning curves happening here. Don't be too hard on yourself. You have the wealth card. Tent, temporary situation. Okay, so just remind yourself when you get into these feelings of feeling like you're not good enough or whatever this negative emotion or whatever this negative energy is, it's only temporary. Whatever type of curveballs get thrown your way, it's only temporary. It's only an obstacle. Keep climbing that mountain, okay? Whatever it is, is just going to make you stronger because there's guaranteed success here. Your wealth is increasing. Give me one more. Now that wealth card could really be an indication of anything that you're trying to achieve. Shield, you need to defend yourself. And then we have box, you will receive a gift. 
sorrow over loss and rainbow. The most difficult uh, part is of the situation is over. This box and wreath, there's a blessing in disguise here. Something is a blessing in disguise. Something is working out in your favor, even if it doesn't appear that way. Something is a gift, even if it doesn't appear that way. And this rainbow, this is just a reminder that there's always a rainbow after the storm. It says the most difficult part of a situation is over. Angel number for Libra, please. Angel number for Libra. You have a master number 44. You are supported, okay? Your affirmation is, I am supported. It says, your angels are encouraging you to continue on your present life path with diligence and determination. And even greater success will come in the future. So you're, this is, this is going to be successful. You're going to be successful. Whatever you're working towards is going to be successful. And you're on the right path. You are on the right path, Libra. We're going to take a look at your love life. Okay, you have reconciliation. It says someone from your past is returning to your life. Bottom of the deck, you have romantic feelings. So there's somebody here that you have a history with. They uh, want to explore the way they feel about you. Bottom of that, it says very soon. It says clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. There's somebody here that is passionate about you and they're wanting to explore the way they feel here. Yeah, they're, they're, they have their eyes on you, okay? This is somebody that I feel like there was some type of turmoil. I feel like somebody ran off, okay? This Knight of Swords, the Six of Swords, but they ran off, but they've been looking back this whole time. There, there's a lot of, this King of Wands has a lot of passion for you. Yeah, Knight of Cups. They're looking back at you. They're wanting to move forward with the way they feel. They're wanting to express the way they feel. This person is motivated by their desires and emotions for you. So they're looking back and they're wanting to take things forward here. Ten of Swords, there was a betrayal. I feel like they've caused you some type of pain. I feel like somebody wasn't who they said they were. Now the higher fence uh, telling me that they've had some type of spiritual development here. I feel like through this painful situation you have both experienced, you both have actually spiritually developed here. Yeah, we have this page of pentacles, the six of wands. This person is ready to come forward and, like I said, explore their their desires, their passions. Okay, the page of pentacles. This is also somebody wanting to learn from their mistakes. Ace of Wands. 
the magician. Look at that. This person is going to return and I feel like they're going to lay on the charm. The charm will be very thick. Okay. They're going to make, they're going to wave that magic wand. Okay. And they're going to attempt to manifest you into their life. And what they're wanting is a connection. They're wanting to explore the way they feel. You know, they're wanting to uh, explore this spiritual union. Okay. I mean, even if they don't use that terminology, this person is definitely waking up to the fact that they have unexplainable feelings here and they're wanting to explore them further. Ace of Pentacles, the Empress. Yeah, they want a new beginning here. This is somebody reopening the door to something that possibly slammed shut in the past. And I feel like, give me more information on why and what happened. For some of you guys, they were terrified of the connection with you. That's why they were in off. They were extreme because it's ten of ten of swords, four of wands, the hierophant. It's instant recognition, and I feel like it sparked some sort of fear. It was an instant recognition. And they've been thinking a lot about this with the eight of cups. But this instant recognition, this instant connection was a whole new level to them with that four of wands. Something they've never experienced in their life, Libra. And so they ran off. But it's telling me they're coming in for a new beginning with the Ace of Pentacles, the Empress. This is divine feminine energy. This Empress energy. This is also your energy, Libra. I feel like this person is ready to basically fight their negative ego. Okay. This is somebody that has been struggling with a heavy, dark energy for quite some time. This is somebody that has had a guard up when it comes to their emotions in general. And I feel like this is someone ready to fight for this, ready to fight through their dark energies you know, fight their demons. I feel like that's what this person has been up to. Yeah, because, you know, somebody here is just, they're so tired of dealing with themselves. And I feel like they're starting to acknowledge this negative trait. Okay, this negative ego. And they're willing to start taking accountability and reflect. This is somebody that wants to grow. Okay. With this 10 of pentacles, this is somebody that's ready to step up and become someone who can leave a legacy behind, become someone that they can be proud of. Because I feel like this energy that they have been in, in the past, they're not proud of themselves and they're ready to step up and they're ready to achieve new things in their life. And so I do see somebody here coming back to work on a relationship with you to explore the way they feel about you, Libra. Messages for Libra, please. Messages for Libra. One more. Okay, it says passion, a magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present. Enjoy it. So your energy is magnetic to this person. One more. It says you may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life. 
Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. It says, criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are, and your relationship will magically transform. So that last card is definitely about not trying to force anything, not trying to force somebody to be who you want them to be, and just kind of allowing this person to be who they are. And I feel like a lot of you Librans that are resonating with this message have set somebody free. Um, I feel like you guys are allowing someone to be free to make their own decisions. And that's what's magnetically pulling this person back to you because they can energetically feel that sense of freedom that you have given them. And so by no means should you wait around for a reconciliation. You should definitely be out there living your life, meeting new people. But I do want to tell you, you're going to have a past person return to your life. And I see them laying the charm on you very thickly. So just something to be aware of. Okay. All right. It does look like they want to work on themselves. Uh, I feel like, you know, they have been working on themselves, Libra. Those are your messages. Bye.